With dear brothers and sisters, uh, we have heard the gospel and um, the theme of uh, the gospel is uh, suffering. Um, <clears throat> paghihirap at uh, uh, dito ay uh, sinasabi ng ating Panginoon na siya ay maghihirap din. One time I met uh, a couple whose uh, marriage I solemnized and um, it had been about three years that uh, I had not seen them and uh, I asked uh, Kumusta naman kayo? Sabi ko, uh, okay pa ba ang inyong kasal na pinasbasan ko? Uh, okay, Father. Sabi ko, okay. Hey, um, ikaw, sinabi ko yung lalaki. Ano ang uh, masasabi mo? Father, sabi niya, ay ko lang nalaman na ang uh, um, <clears throat> May uh, tatlong sing-sing pala ang uh, uh, pag-aasawa. Three rings, sa uh, sabi niya. Ano ba yung three rings? Well, una, Father, yung engagement ring. Yung ikalawa naman ay uh, wedding ring. At ano yung ikatlo, tinanong ko. Father, suffering, sabi niya. So, uh, ngayon, yung uh, babae, Sabi niya, Father, mayroon pang ikaapat na ring. Tinignan yung asawa. At sabi niya, Father, kung ang kabiak ay may diriring. So, uh, <clears throat> yun. Hindi lang pala tatlo o dalawa. Kundi may ikaapat pa. Uh, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, indeed, uh, our Lord said that He would undergo sufferings. And Peter could not believe that uh, uh, he will suffer grievously. And then uh, uh, he even called uh, Peter, you Satan, do not say that, that I will not suffer because I will suffer grievously. And you are uh, talking about uh, your standard, but not the standard of God. But it's really true, my dear brothers and sisters, that in our world, in this valley of tears, well, we have, everybody has to suffer. It's part and parcel of our life. Lahat tayo po ay may paghihirap. Yung mga iba ay tayong lahat nagkakasakit physically, um, at uh, ngayon, we are experiencing really the difficulties and uh, this uh, uh, coronavirus or COVID-19. Uh, Alam niyo may nagsabi pa nga, ay uh, Father, hindi pa uh, namamatay ang uh, isang tao, may corona na, sabi niya. So, uh, yun ang uh, uh, sinabi niya. And uh, it's really true, my dear brothers and sisters. We are all uh, vulnerable, not only to this uh, coronavirus, but also other sicknesses like cancer, pneumonia, um, diabetes, and uh, so on. And not only uh, physical, hindi lamang yung ating katawan, kalusugan, kundi there are also uh, emotional and uh, psychological. Sabi nung isang uh, um, may negosyo, um, Father, yung aking uh, uh, negosyo ay bumagsak na. Wala na. Noon, well, nagkaroon ako ng recession, sabi niya. Hindi lamang recession dahil uh, itong uh, negosyo ay uh, pabagsak. At pati daw yung kanyang buhok ay receding na ano, dahil sa worries. 
And then later on, Father, not only that inflation, uh, my stomach is already inflated. And then yung pinakamatindi, depression. So, uh, uh, really, there are many who are uh, suffering during this time uh, uh, financially. And uh, so, my dear brothers and sisters, our Lord still tells us, if you want to be my disciples, and carry your cross and follow me. Of course, our Lord is not saying that we should be, uh, uh, <coughs> we should be, we should not uh, do something about our cross, about our problems. If we can remedy them, then by all means, let's do that. So, for example, um, yes, yes, by for example, avoiding this coronavirus pandemic, if we would only be faithful to the uh, health protocols, that is, uh, to wear our masks, itong mga nandito tayo, ay uh, yan, mga obedient itong mga taong ito, ano, walang uh, uh, pumapaltos sa pagsuot uh, ng face mask. And then social distancing. Somebody said, uh, better to be uh, uh, six meters socially distanced than six meters below the ground. You know? So uh, we have also to help ourselves. We have also to do something. And uh, this is uh, something that we should uh, remember that... Uh, this is also part of uh, our suffering, but uh, we will also um, be relieved when hopefully this coronavirus will uh, end. But finally, if we can also uh, think that there are really something that we cannot, we cannot, we cannot help. There are things that uh, you cannot really solve. For example, you know, somebody said, uh, my husband died of cancer, Father. And we did everything. We asked the doctors to help, you know. Although we cannot ask for, uh, uh, for refund you know, on the doctor's fees. Kasi namatay yung husband ko. But we have done everything in order to save my husband. But, well, siya po ay pumanaw. So, if there are things that we cannot remedy, but we have done our best, then it is uh, the will of God and we cannot do anything about it. Old age, for example, you cannot, you cannot stop dying. I read that uh, there was a lady who uh, uh, was 115 years old, but what happened? She died also. Also, so there are things in life that we cannot help and we cannot remedy, and that is why that beautiful prayer of Reinhold Niebuhr, a theologian, said. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to do what I can change, and the wisdom to know the difference between the two. So gusto niyang sabihin na kung may magagawa ka, then pray for courage. Pero kung wala ka nang magagawa, pray for serenity. Pray for uh, acceptance and that you know the difference between the two. And my dear brothers and sisters, our Lord said that if you suffer and die with me, then you will rise on the resurrection of the dead. Amen.